So precision medicine is really a critical component and critical means by which to approach all cancers. In prostate cancer, we're learning that heterogeneity and variability across the tumor spectrum is significant. So the importance of doing our best to differentiate one cancer from the next, utilizing tools such as next generation sequencing, as well as other histologic criteria and clinical criteria is, is critical. So as we evolve into the contemporary era of prostate cancer care, um, PARP inhibitors have become quite important for patients with um, uh, DNA damage repair mutations, most namely uh, the BRCA mutations. Um, we're also realizing genetic testing may inform a select group of patients that respond to treatments like immunotherapy, with pembrolizumab being approved for MSI high and uh, tumor mutational high um, disease. So lastly, an understanding of genetics and how it may prognosticate and predict the progression and advancement of cancer is really critical in treatment selection. Uh, more specifically, this is uh, things like uh, P53, RB1, P10, which are genetic signatures for more aggressively acting cancers. So lastly, you know, as we enter the era of targeted therapies, whether it's radio ligands, bispecifics, anti, anti, uh, antibody drug conjugates, an understanding of tar targeted um, you know, expression of targets is critical, and we're starting to gain experience through uh, PET imaging modalities and other histologic um, assessments that we're able to do. So it's a very exciting time to be um, working in the field of prostate cancer, and I think we'll hopefully be able to take care of individual patients in a personalized fashion, um, you know, optimizing outcomes and quality of life.